Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are on house arrest because of the coronavirus. And so I'm knocking out as many of our subscription service boxes as I possibly can. I am wearing pajamas. I don't care. I haven't left my house t t to go anywhere but work. So it's, here we are. Um, obviously this is a very serious, scary time. So I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and, um, and listening to any recommendations from the CDC or from, you know, whatever your, um, your areas. Um, containment, you know, procedures and, and the, the people who are, are giving you instructions on how to keep this from spreading. So just stay safe and healthy. And uh, we're wishing, you know, positive energy to everybody. And, and hopefully this this all kind of settles down a little bit. But yeah, so uh, amongst, amongst this craziness, I decided I was going to open my subscription service boxes. And today we are, we have trugged through all of them. This is our very final one that we need to film. Ipsy regular loved. Uh, so here we are with Ipsy Plus. Um, my mother also gets an Ipsy Plus. So we do a segment here called Ipsy versus Ipsy, where we take her Ipsy, we take my Ipsy, I compare the two, um, I decide which one I like better as a whole, and then I create my ideal uh, assembled five piece bundle based on the 10 products that we received from these. So we do that every month. And I always start with her box, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna move mine up here and then we're gonna just jump right into it. I know nothing, I don't look at spoilers. I have no idea what potentially we could be getting or what anything looks like or, oh. So I loved the bags this month, I loved them. This is my least favorite one, but this, little unstoppable, real cute, real cute. I actually love the bag so much. If you guys saw the original small Ipsy, I had added on the premium Ipsy bag as well. So I have all three of them, even though I don't have the premium subscription service. But um, but yeah, it's not my favorite, but it is cute. I like the little envelope style. And then I like the fact that it says unstoppable in there because I'm always uh, for like empowering people to just go out there and slay all day. So that is the cute little bag. And now jumping into this, I know she picked this particular palette as her one to go with. It is from the Bomb Cosmetics and it is the Pick Perfect Auto Bomb. I love the, I didn't even show it, but I love the packaging on it. It looks like a little, um, a license plate. It's a little metal tin. And then it came with these colors right here, a couple of neutral ones, a nice little blue shade, uh, kind of like an olive, deep olive green, almost brown, and then a, a reddish pink shade. So that is cute. I know that was what she picked out for her item because we talked about it. I did not go with that one, but I went with something similar to it. The next thing she got is a brush. I believe I've received from this brand before because I recognize the handles. Complex Culture. It looks, I'm assuming this is a contour brush just based on the fact that it is triangular. I don't think she's gonna use it if I'm being 100% honest, but I don't think it's a bad brush. It feels really nice. Um, I'm more of a fan of having like a fluffy brush for my contour just because I like it to be a little less like and a little bit more like just kind of naturally like there, but it definitely does uh, seem like a very nice brush. So not a bad thing. She got a Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon Herbal Body Moisturizer. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've received this size in deluxe samples before. I don't agree with the fact that this is a full size. And so I think that that's kind of a cop out and I am very disappointed that this is one of the products that they are giving out with the full sized boxes. It doesn't seem right to me, but who the hell am I, I guess. Uh, this, I don't know. This is a Malin Gotez Revitalizing Eye Cream. Oh, eye creams always are pricey. So, um, and I, I think my mom likes most of the ones that she gets. Yeah, just like a normal little white bottle. Packaging's kind of boring, but I mean, it's eye cream, so it's not like it's, they're out here trying to like aesthetically please you. They're just trying to make your eyes look less tired, which is I always need, so. So that's not a bad one, I'm assuming. Um, she'll probably really enjoy that. The next thing she got is a Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil. I don't like lip oils. You're gonna give me something lip related. Might as well be a lipstick. I want some color. I don't, I've gotten a lot of lip oils this year and a lot of things like that this year. And it just is very uh, frustrating to me. So I'm, I once again, feel like that's a cop out. It's probably a pricey product. I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you. They probably will sell this product for like 60 bucks or something crazy like that because that's what they do. I can't even open up the box without ripping it. I'm not trying to rip her thing, but I can't like, there we go. Got it. It's very red. I don't, I don't like the tech. I just, I feel some type of way of it. It rem it reminds me so much of like those terrible little lip glosses, like the like sticky lip glosses that you would get when you were a kid and people were like, oh, you're a girl. Here's like a little lip gloss and it would cost like 99 cents and it literally made your face feel like you would like, I don't know, dip it in caramel and then just left it. It's, I don't, that's the aesthetic. It's, I don't know anything about it. I'm being very prejudging with it, but I just don't, I don't know. 
That's what it reminds me of. Anyway, the next thing she got is a Luna liner, um, which is a water resistant liquid eyeliner. I like the fact that it's water resistant, but I believe we've gotten an eyeliner for the past like four months in a row. At least one of us has gotten an eyeliner for the past four months in a row. I think almost both of us every, every month. So, can't open that either. Oh, uh, well, it's, it's double sealed. I'm not gonna crack her seal on it, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a good size. I think it says it's 24 hours, but it's just a normal black eyeliner. So yeah, it's kind of boring, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a big fan of hers. I don't like hers. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like hers. The only thing I like really is the thing that she chose. I hope mine's better. I don't, I don't have high hopes after watching this though, this train wreck. All right, putting that away for the time being until we go back to assemble the perfect box. Now we're going into mine. Okay, so I got the same cute little bag. Same cute little, little bag, same little envelope looking bag. Now I actually, shockingly enough, I know I normally am always like, oh, I love eyeshadow pigments and I'm, I'm very into it, but I actually opted to go with the same, um, it's the Autobomb collection, it's Girl Powder, and it is their cheek palette, which I found adorable. I just loved it. I thought that it came with a lot of really great little neutral cheek shades and then it had a really pretty highlighter. And I was like, you know what? I normally go with eyeshadows, but I always am looking for good cheek stuff. So that's why I chose this one. And I am a very, um, I'm very satisfied that I chose that one because the, the yellow one was the other, the one that my mom got was the one that I was, I was going back and forth between. And then other than that, our boxes are almost identical. I'm not even kidding. Why, Ipsy? Why do you do this? Ugh. Okay, so I got the same eye cream. I got the same contouring brush. I got the same eyeliner. This is different. I did not get the liquid, like lip, what do they call it, lip, lip oil or whatever. I did not get that. So I'm kind of happy that I didn't get that. This is from Phase Zero. It is a matte, oh, I love that. Okay, that's a good one actually. This is a matte lip, liquid lipstick and it's a gorgeous color. Very neutral, very usable. I'm actually gonna go in there and swatch it right next to the NARS one that I got in my, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. So I'm gonna cover up the one from NARS, but that's the color right there. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even finish my box. I got sidetracked because Nikki was resetting the camera because the battery died. So the last thing in my box is a coffee scrub. It is, uh, I think it's just a whole body scrub. You just take a little bit of it. I'm not gonna lie, I like this, however, I actually had a DIY recipe that I used quite a bit when we were in Wilmington. I honestly have stopped drinking coffee as much as I did. I was drinking like at least one cup, maybe more every day. And now I, I really drink it very irregularly, which is weird because I work in a coffee shop, but whatever. But that being said, I would actually save my coffee grounds when I did that. I would mix it with vegetable oil and I would make my own like DIY body scrub. And I love, don't get me wrong, I love the healing properties and what coffee scrubs do for your skin. If you've never tried it, you can use it as a body wash, a face wash literally anything. I wouldn't recommend putting it in your hair because you're never gonna wash it out, but I think it does actually help your scalp too. I don't think I would ever probably buy a coffee scrub myself because I know how to, that I like the recipe I use when I would make it myself, but it's not a bad thing because I love what coffee does for the skin. I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely the caffeine, the grounds, they go in there and they exfoliate and then they tighten everything and they just make you look great. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so that is actually not a bad product, just something that I would not necessarily buy. All right, let me go ahead. Let me let me pick out box. I don't even think it's a comparison because I really hated my mom's lip oil and I really just, I just didn't like the hemp either. The hemp's moisturizer either. So my box wins, which is sad because I don't think against any other box it would win, um, but whatever, here we are. So if I had to choose the, f I guess we got six products in this one too. Looks like it, whatever. If I had to choose the six products that I was choosing, I would choose based on the two products. I'm once again gonna do something that I know would never happen. I'm going to choose her eyeshadow palette and my uh, face palette. They would never give us both of those, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I would choose the eye serum. Eye serums normally are pretty decent in terms of the value. They normally work really well. I've been using them a lot more recently and I never really buy them myself. So it's not a bad thing to get in a subscription service. I would definitely choose my phase zero uh, lip gloss because I loved the colors on that. And I would probably go ahead and say that I would get I'd get the contour brush because I do see the, the usefulness of it. And then I would get the eyeliner just because it's a black eyeliner. So it's probably gonna be fine. You know, I have a ton of them. So that's why I'm kind of meh about it. But so those are the products I would choose. But let us, for the sheer fun of it, let's go through both boxes and figure out the retail value of each box and which one is valued more. I'm gonna start with my mother since we started with hers to begin with. 
her mini, uh, let me just, let me just throw this up here for size. I know hemp's is expensive, don't get me wrong. They're saying that this is a $10.59 value. I don't agree with that. That's a sample size in my opinion, but okay, 10.59. Uh, the Balm Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow palette is 26.50. That's pretty tiny for 26.50. Uh, I, I, I'm sure that's what they charge for it. I just don't think I would buy it at that. Um, the Revitalizing Eye Gel is $42. The eyeliner is $18. Oh, they're saying that the brush is actually a concealer brush. I actually could see that I would use that probably more likely than I would for a contour brush. So I appreciate that. The concealer brush is $26 and the lip oil is $24. What is that retail value? They said it's $147.09. I don't agree with that. I don't like that. I don't, I think that that's a cheap box. I think they say it's at least gonna be $130 in value. So no matter what, it's already a cheap box, but I don't, no, I don't like that. Let's do mine. All right, so same thing, my Balm Cosmetics uh, face palette was $26.50. The eye gel was 42, the eyeliner was 18, and the brush was 26. So that leaves my coffee scrub, which is a tiny, this is a tiny, look at that package. Tiny, tiny little package. They're saying that's $21.99. I would never freaking pay that. Use your coffee grounds, save them, put a little bit of vegetable oil and put it in a Tupperware, keep it in your fridge, and then just use it as necessary. It literally costs you nothing. You're, it, whatever two, table, two tablespoons of vegetable oil costs, because you're gonna throw away your coffee grounds anyway. So don't, don't pay that. The phase zero lipstick was $16. I would agree with that. I wouldn't pay that. I would buy it on sale, but I would agree with that price. So what does that make my box? 150.49. Once again, I don't agree with that. I don't hate this box because I did get some decent stuff in it, but I don't like this box. So I feel the same way I felt about my boxy charm. It's meh. There were some things that I think are incredibly um, valuable and are kind of saving where they've slacked off in my opinion. But uh, yeah. So anyway, a little bit of a rough month for the uh, the subscription services in this household. Um, I would say the Ipsy regular was my favorite by far, uh, probably followed by BoxyCharm and then Ipsy Plus and then FabFitFun came dead ass last because it was not great at all. It's not great, it wasn't great. Anyway, here we are. Can you tell I'm already like going stir crazy in the house? You probably can. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed either, please do so. We've been so bad about uploading and I'm so sorry about that. 2020 has just been wild and there's no excuse for it, but it's just been very hard to even find motivation when we did have time to, to film. And I'm very sorry for that because we care so much about you guys and the page and I don't want it to feel like we don't. So we're gonna do our absolute best to stop that cycle and to go ahead and film and uh, produce content for you guys as quickly as we possibly can. We appreciate all the love and support you've showed us and please just stay as healthy as you possibly can in this crazy time. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.